All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be a pick a card reading for how does your person currently feel about you. All right, so we have three piles here. We have Malachite, okay? We have Black Tourmaline and we have Opalites. All right. Um, speaking of crystals, if you guys are interested, I have a few anxiety relief crystal sets left. Um, so I'll be leaving that up on the website. If, if you go to the website and it says out of stock, then you'll know that I'm sold out. Um, but if that isn't up there yet, then there's still a few left. Okay. So if you guys are interested, um, that information is down below. In addition, if you wanted to book a personal reading, my information's in the description box as well, as well as access to guided meditations and online courses. All right, but let's take a look and see. So we're going to start off with the Malachite here. I'm just going to move these to the side. All right, so this person that is on your mind, if you guys chose this crystal here, how are they currently feeling about you? Wow, so we have Divine Feminine. We have Trusting, Reliant, Dependent, and Believing. We have the Six of Wands, the Nine of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. And we have, I can feel you pulling away. Have you moved on? Okay, beautiful energy, guys. Um, so if you pick this pile here, you could possibly be um, dealing with a divine masculine or this person is seeing you as their divine feminine. So they're seeing you as their person, essentially, okay? Um, very strong past life energy here with the Six of Cups, but this could also indicate that you have a strong history with this person. Like you, maybe you've known them for a while. Um, you've dealt with them for a while. This could be someone that you knew in your childhood um, or you just have a history with this person. I, I don't feel like this is someone new. If it, it could still work if it is, but I feel like it's more of someone that you've built something with, okay? Um, or establish a stronger connection with. So this person is really feeling like you have walked away from them, all right? They see that you're on your own path right now. You're following your own happiness. You're doing your own thing. Um, and I feel like they're seeing you right now as very work oriented. You could be very focused on your career, your home life. If you have kids, some of you might have kids actually. Um, if you have kids, they see that you're a really great mother. You really are a, a great care, caretaker. Um, they just see you heading towards what's important to you. Okay. Um, now this person is very much desiring you. All right. Um, with the nine of cups here, I feel like this person just really wants to get together with you and just have a good time. Like they want to take you out. They want to um, go on dates with you. They want to just like um, be around you. I just heard this person wants to show you off as well, especially with the six of wands. This person's like very proud of you. Um, this person specifically, I'm hearing like they want to show you off. Like they want to take you out. They want to show you off and be like, haha, like, you know, this is who I've got. This is my woman. This is my man, whatever it may be. Um, so this is kind of a cute energy, okay? This person right now, because they feel like you're sort of pulling away or withdrawing your energy, like I feel like specifically what I'm picking up with this pile is whoever is 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 listening to this pile right now, I don't know if you've necessarily like turned your back on this or it's more so you're focusing on yourself, okay? Like you're very self-focused. You're focusing on what's important to you. And this person can feel that like energetically, okay? So keep in mind, like, when we are connected to people, we can totally feel if someone's energy is pushing on us, if someone's energy is pulling away. Um, so because of this, it's causing them to really want to come towards you. Like they're feeling now sort of like this dependency on you. So maybe this person was very self-reliant in the past. They might've acted like they didn't really need you or that they were just good. And now they're like, no, I do need you. You know, like they're seeing the value here that you add to their life. And they're really feeling, I don't, sometimes I'll see this card as kind of like an unhealthy dependency dependency, I'm actually not getting that. I'm actually seeing this as like someone who um, is maybe more so on the side of like kind of being avoidant, like sort of like having an avoidant um, attachment and really wanting to come into secure, like really wanting someone to depend on, like really wanting to put their trust in someone else um, in a positive way. Okay. So I am getting really good energy, you know, uh, I don't know if this person will be approaching you or whatever it may be, but this is their current feelings um, for you, okay? So I do hope that this resonated. If you want to book your own personal reading, my information is down below. All right, so let's move on to the black tourmaline. 
Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal here, let's take a look and see. How do they feel about you? Okay, so we have fall. All right, we have resentful. Oh gosh, we have the five of swords, the king of pentacles, the ace of swords, the king of wands, and we have you mean the world to me. Okay, so interesting because you guys did choose the black tourmaline and sometimes we choose this crystal when we're dealing with a lot of negativity that we need to release. So I feel like... Um, right now there is some sort of negativity in this connection that has not been released um maybe you've released it but they have not but typically if your other if the person that you're dealing with has not released their negativity it's also because in some regard you're holding on to it as well so with the fall card here this is my depression card so it's very likely that this person is going through a depression or their head is just in a dark space right now like they're not seeing things from a positive perspective they're seeing things from a very negative perspective um, which makes sense because we do have the resentful card here, okay? So there's something that happened between the two of you. Um, and they are still bitter about it. They're still resenting you for it. Um, whether you are in the wrong or not doesn't matter. This is just their current energy. This is just how they're feeling about you. Um, there could have been some sort of betrayal here. They might have perceived that they were betrayed by you. So with the Five of Swords. Um, so they are feeling very bitter. They're feeling very offended um, by the situation, okay? So I don't know exactly what happened between the two of you. I feel like they think that they know the truth though. It's like their truth might be different than your truth, if that makes sense. So you might see things from a completely different perspective, but they feel like they know the truth um, about the situation and they feel like they were kind of betrayed or they feel very hurt. Um, I feel like you're dealing with someone who maybe isn't taking responsibility right now. But the reason why they're so bitter is because this person wants something with you, all right? So the reason why they're holding on to this resentment is because they, they had expectations of you that you didn't fulfill. And maybe they didn't express these expectations to you. But with the King of Pentacles here and the King of Wands, this person's very serious about you, okay? Like, um, they're very attracted to you. They're very, um, like, they feel a lot of passion for you. But I feel like this person with the King of Pentacles also sees themselves settling down with you. Um, this person, like, wants to provide for you and, you know, um, give you what it is that you need um, financially, okay? I'm specifically hearing financially, but... It could be in other ways as well, but I feel like this person kind of wants to be that protector for you. They want to like, um, yeah, this person actually, I'm really hearing that this person is very attractive to you. Okay. Um, but this person sometimes I feel like hasn't, hasn't like, uh, the ability to kind of shut down on you or give you the impression that they're not. That makes sense. I think sometimes this person is very closed off towards you. Um, the reason why I say that is I'm noticing here, this guy has his legs crossed. And this woman here has her arms crossed. And I'm seeing here, like I see the spread legs here with the King of Wands. Typically when a, this is like the man spread. <laughs> so if you guys know, um, the man spread definitely indicates attraction. So if you're ever sitting next to a man and he like has his legs wide open, that is an indication of attraction, just by the way, if you weren't aware of that. Um, but I also, it was kind of funny because I'm noticing here this guy, which is kind of a weird pose. If you notice here, this man has his legs crossed in such an interesting way. And then I'm also noticing this here. So I feel like this person has a tendency to kind of make you feel um, like you're not that important to them or that they're not that interested um, or they just kind of shut down on you. They close off a lot. But the reason why they do this is because of their resentment, okay? I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of negativity. They are dealing with a lot of negative energy. But at the end of the day, that you do mean a lot to them, all right? You're just dealing with someone who needs to take the time to deal with this pain. Like they need to get out of this negative energy because a lot of them might be kind of projecting this onto you, okay? Whether you are in the wrong or not, who knows? Okay, so let's take a look at pile three. So I hope that resonated. Um, as always, if you want to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box. But let's take a look. If you chose the opalite here, one of my favorites. I think this is just so cute, so pretty. Um, okay, so let's take a look and see. This person that you're dealing with, how do they feel about you? We have fifth dimension. We have powerless. We have the three of swords. We have the knight of cups. The moon. 
Well, this person, you could be dealing with um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this person is very emotional. My life has changed so much since meeting you. So this person kind of, yeah, and even the Knight of Cups here, I didn't even notice that. You could be dealing with Pisces, can Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I do feel like this person has got some water, heavy water in their chart, okay? Um, this is someone who's very intuitive. Right off the bat, I'm getting that strongly here. It doesn't matter if they're male, female, divine feminine, divine masculine, doesn't matter. This person's very intuitive to the, almost to their detriment because this person can kind of take on other people's emotions or pick up on things and they, they are holding on to these emotions is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, they've been having a lot of dreams of you. All right. Um, you've been on their mind a lot, but specifically they've been having a lot of dreams like um, a lot of dreams, you you come into their mind a lot at night, okay? So they might ruminate on like your connection right before they go to bed. And that could also be why it triggers some sort of dreams. Like the, you're, you're, you're in their subconscious quite heavily here, okay? But the current energy is that they're feeling powerless to the situation. So something is making them feel like you have you have some power over them i'll put it that way okay like they they have a lot of emotion for you they are heartbroken so something must have happened here between the two of you and right now it's like they're in this energy where they don't feel like there's anything that they can do okay do they want to rush towards you yes i mean we have the queen of cups we have the knight of cups here they have a lot of emotions that they really want to express to you um this person is also feeling like you know, they've changed a lot since they met you. So maybe this person has been also making changes on themselves, okay? So they could be aware that, you know, some of the things that they've done in the past, like they need to make some changes, they need to do some things differently here, and they're aware of that, and they're making these changes. But right now, they feel like their hands are tied. They feel powerless to the situation, and they're kind of stuck in this heartbreak, okay? Like I said, I feel like this person is a very emotional person, so it might take them a while to get through these this, this uh, heartbreak or this grief. Um, they might also, if you're heartbroken as well, this person could be intuitively and they might not realize it. So this, like some people can be intuitive, but not know that they are. So they'll feel a bunch of emotions and not realize that it's not actually their own emotions. And that's kind of what I'm feeling with this person is that this is someone I'm telling you right now, this is most likely a water sign or someone who has a lot of water in their chart somewhere. But specifically, this is someone who's intuitive, whether they know it or not. Like this is a very intuitive person. And I feel like they're also picking up on your heartbreak. So if you've been crying or you've been hurt, they're also feeling that, um, and this is also affecting them on a deep level, okay? But right now, it's like, for some reason, they feel like they can't do anything. Now, I don't know if this is a mentality. Like, I don't know if they're just, like, in this energy where they're like, I, you know, um, I can't do anything right now. Maybe they just convince themselves that they can't, or maybe there's an actual physical obstacle, okay? Possibly could be a third party for some of you guys. doesn't have to be, but it could be. So maybe you're already in a third party or they are, but there's something that's making them feel like they can't come towards you, even though that's all that they want to do. So I feel like this person spends a lot of time thinking about you. You're definitely in their subconscious, so they might be like indirectly kind of manifesting you. So if you have a lot of thoughts of this person, it's probably because you're like heavily in their subconscious right now. Okay. So guys, that's what I'm getting for pal number three. All right. So I truly hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you want to book your own personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. All right. So I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.